So one of the great things about Trinan is obviously this amazing view, but one of the highlights is getting on one of those boats and exploring the river. Terang is something out of an epic fantasy film. The landscapes are otherworldly, and the people who live here are just as unique. Tourism is booming here in Vietnam. In the late 90s, there were 1.5 million tourists in comparison today, where 13 million tourists come each year. The extra tourists brought in an influx of money, but the local boat rowers had to put in long hours of back-breaking rowing to keep up. However, the guides at Terang found an ingenious workaround, rowing with their feet. It is much quicker and less exhausting than the traditional way of using your arms. My name is Luan, and many years ago, no many tourists, new many tourists come here. Oh, why so? My father, Mara, me rowing, and my grandfather, grandmother, rowing Sam. And uh, many years ago, when we live here rowing, why so? Walking rice here, rowing boat and walking rice. Why so here? Many mountain and river view, and many rice, and uh, everything natural. There are a thousand odd families that own a boat with a number. The harbour master calls out their boat numbers and customers are paired up with a rower. Luan took me on a two hour journey, past the rice paddies and some cool caves, which were a highlight for me because of the complete darkness, then the light at the end of the tunnel. It was so beautiful that I found myself lost in the moment, on the boat, with the driver, in the wilderness and the pounding rain. Luan is a real character, cracking jokes, talking on a mobile to her friends, and then almost pondering life in the same minute. The riverbanks are abuzz with local fishermen, farmers, and freshwater clam hunters. <laughs> Terang is awe-inspiring. Not many places in the world that you could be lost for words to describe the raw beauty of the landscape. The rain happened to add more color to my experience. I like here. I like country. Country very quiet, uh, very beautiful. 